Samsung is to suspend sales of its latest high-end smartphone, the Galaxy Note 7, after reports of exploding batteries. Samsung's head of mobiles told reporters the firm had received several reports of a battery explosion on the Note 7, which was officially launched last month. The company has so far sold a million units of the device in countries including South Korea and the United States. Well, Sky's Charlotte Lomas has been following this story. Joins us from Central London, did you see? Uh, Charlotte, this has got to be one of the biggest... Uh, foul ups in, in, in recent corporate history in terms of a, a recall that's going to really hit the pocket of a big company. Yeah, hugely embarrassing for the Korean company. Only two weeks after the launch of their Galaxy Note 7, they've had to now suspend sales. And it was launched to widespread critical acclaim. It helped uh, increase the company's market value to record highs. And now they've had to suspend some sales because tests have shown that some of the batteries are faulty. And this has caused some of them to explode while charging. And so far, so far, the Korean company have recorded 35 such cases. They have said to customers that they will replace those phones, and that should take about two weeks to happen. But they have stopped short of recalling um, all of those products. It does come after multiple reports from customers who have uploaded video and photographs online of exploded phones and charred batteries. There's claims um, that some have had near misses, so there haven't been no reports so far of any injuries but this is obviously uh, dangerous uh, terrifying for some of the customers not affecting any UK customers so far expected to the device was expected to be launched in the UK here today but this really is a big blow uh, to Samsung this was a good opportunity for them to take on their main rival Apple which is expected to launch the highly anticipated new model of the iPhone next week so it's a huge setback and as I say highly embarrassing for the company. Charlotte, thanks very much indeed.